one welcome to the eighth grade middle school football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras after some technical gif difficulties we now have our two teams ready the Manchester Squires number 35 Austin Underwood ready to kick for the Zebras. The Squires will be defending the East goal. And with the whistle, the game has now started. And number eight for Rochester, Caden Bixler, picks up the ball and is dashing all the way to the 47-yard line of the Squires. That is where the game will begin. Right now, it is... There's 7.54 left on the first quarter game clock, and we have a pair of chains to measure in the case of a close first down or, or in the case of a close first down call. And right now, number 70 is snap. Ethan DeWald for the quarterback. Number 18, Hayden Prater. Prater receives a snap. To get, pitches it to number 35, Isaiah Jackson. But Jackson gets six yards before he gets tumbled down by a Manchester defenseman. This will lead to second down and four. Prater relaying the play to his fellow teammates. And judging by where the referees put the ball, it is actually four, two downs and four and a half yards to go. Hayne Prater with the snap. He hands it off to number 44, Bryce Abbott. But Ab Abbott gets a yard before getting tackled on the 40-yard line of the Manchester Squires. This will lead to third down and th three for the Rochester Zebras. Abbott with the run. Rochester wanting to get a win against Manchester as both the C-team squads and varsity team have managed to defeat the Rochester teams. Now it's payback time. Prater lining up. Prater, handoff to Isaiah Jackson. Jackson gets all the way to the 28-yard line before he is brought down. This will bring up Rochester first down. Jackson around the left side for a first down tackle by number 45, Creedon Kroll. Nice tackle by Creedon Kroll. <laughs> Ethan Hauser and Hayden Prater relaying information to the the latter relaying information to the, the team. And it looks like number eight, is Kane Bixler, is switching out. Prater receiving the snap. Hand off to number 44, Bryce Abbott. Abbott gets all the way to the 18 before being brought down for a Rochester first down. Clock will stop at 5.22. And what a play by the Rochester Zebras. Zebra is now in the red zone. Prater relaying information from coach Mr. Brian Hooker. Rochester and Manchester are lining up for the play. Prater. Pitch to number 35, Isaiah Jackson. Jackson running through the defenses, getting all the way to the seven yard line before being brought down. It's a first down for Rochester, their third straight 
Nice one by Isaiah Jackson. That makes his second first down of the night. It is now first and goal. Prater ready to get another big play, hoping to get a touchdown in the process. And it looks like Jacob Mark at center position. Hayden Prater fakes a handoff and keeps it for himself. He's still on his feet after two, shedding two tacklers. He shed four tacklers in order to get a touchdown. I don't believe it, folks. With 4.06 left in the first quarter, Hayden Prater, the quarterback, for an eight-yard touchdown run. What a play. That will make it the Zeros 6, the Squires nothing. The ball being placed in between, right in the center of the goal line and the five yard line. Zebra is relaying a play in order to get two points for the two point conversion. Again, Mark at the center position and Prater back to snap. Going for the first pass play of the night. Number eight, it's a stretch, and it's overthrown. Caden Bixler, the attempted receiver. The pass is incomplete with 4.05 left in the first quarter, and our, we will be back to an RTC TV Productions proudly presents an eighth grade football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. We'll be back in black in a moment. Welcome back to an RTC TV Productions proudly presents an 8th grade football game between those Rochester Zebras, the Manchester Squires, and your Rochester Zebras. After an uh, a, a excellent play by quarterback Hayden Prater in which he goes for an 8-yard touchdown run, shedding four Manchester tacklers on the play. With the two-point conversion being no good, the Zebras now stand 6-0. Manchester, a nice kickoff return. Turn. Zebras kicked it from the 40. It went to the 25. Manchester returned 10 yards, which means that the Manchester Squires will start on their own 35-yard line. The Squires huddling up. The whistle signifies that the, the ball is live. The snap to number 14, Devin Markham, the quarterback. After a handoff to number 45, Creighton Crawl. The Squires gain two yards on the play. That makes it second down and eight on their own 37-yard line. Markham gets the pass, gets a snap, fakes a handoff to, fakes a handoff to a Manchester runner and instead chooses to pass to Tice Rooney and gets one yard on the play thanks to a an excellent tackle by the Rochester Zebras linemen.
number 51. No, 35 for Manchester. Austin Underwood to snap to Markham. Markham in pro formation. Gets the ball. Passes it to 88, Trey Clark. Clark gets about three yards on the ground, but uh, but the yardage in the air is enough for a first down for Manchester at, the, at their own 48-yard line. That is a 10-yard play that is definitely good enough for a first down. And the Squires will need to get to Rochester territory if they want to move on with this drive. The snap, the handoff to number 45. Green Crow gets about one yard in the play. Actually, no yards on the play. Crawl with the run. Remains second down and 10. Squires lining up. Markham to receive. The snap, the pass to number 27, Thane Krieger. Krieger gets about a yard on the play. Second, it, that makes it third down and nine. Nice tackle by Bixler. And so far, most, almost all, if not all of the game has been confined to the Manchester Squires territory. Squires now in their own 49. They must get to the 42 of the Zebras if they want to continue with this drive. Markham. The snap. Markham. Gets under pressure by the Zebras, and what a what a pass! I don't believe it. The oh man, Trey Clark receives the pass from Devin Markham. It is good for a 21-yard pass play. It bounces off the helmet of Ethan Hauser for the Zebras. Impressive pass play. Can they capitalize on it? Is the question. The seconds are ticking down in the first quarter, meaning that this will be the last play of the first quarter. Six, five, snap to Markham. Handoff to number five. Tice Rooney gets drilled for a loss of about five, and that will end the first quarter. The Manchester Squires zero, the Rochester Zebras six. You're listen. You're watching an RTC TV Productions probably presents a CT, uh, middle school, eighth grade middle school football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. We'll be back in black shortly. Jet sweep to Rudy. <laughs> Penetration by Abbott. A nice tackle by Abbott. Welcome back to 
the second quarter of an RTC TV Productions probably presents an 8th grade middle school football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras since we left you off. Last time, we have managed to see Manchester put up quite a good fight, but in the last play of the first quarter, Tyson Rooney got shaken for a loss of five yards, but that was quickly nullified by another 20-yard pass play. Risky but rewarding 21-yard pass play between Devin Markham and Trey Clark. Very, very impressive by the Manchester Squires. Markham in pro formation. Markham. The ball, he hands it off to number 45, Queen Kroll. Kroll, however, is taken down very, very quickly. No gain on a play. Second down and 10. 6.53 left on the scoreboard and counting down. Manchester discussing their master plan. How will they get through the Rochester D? Back in pro formation. Devin Markham, the quarterback. He hit big on two pass plays. He's going for broke on this one. Oh! Tice Rooney, again, seems to be the whipping boy for the Rochester defense, this time tackled by Bryce Abbott. But he's he's seems to be very fine. And that was again a three on the play for Manchester. Third down and seven for Manchester. And my apologies if my joke offended anyone. Thirty-five. Austin Underwood snapping to Devin Markham in T formation. Yes. Do not let me forget. Okay. 18 on a move. Oh, five on the field. We got a five on the field. It looks like number 18, Carter Shepard, with Carl with a K. It's a touchdown, but the fl the penalty flag knows all. What will it decides that a penalty will be called against the Manchester Squires. How many yards and what sort of punishment will Manchester be awarded? It's a false start. The call on the Squires. That means that it will be a five yard penalty. Repeat third down. Third down and twelve at the Manchester's own six at the Manchester's at Zebra's sixteen. Markham trying to make a mark on the Zebra's scoreboard. Right now it's six to a big old goose egg. Markham ready to receive the ball from Austin Underwood. In his stance, the the ball, the pass to oh, this time it's incomplete to Trey Clark. He connected once before, but cannot connect with Trey this time. That will bring up fourth down thanks to that false star penalty. Fourth down and twelve for the Manchester Squires. How are they going to get out of the out of this one? Five twenty-three left on the clock, but going nowhere. There's too short of a field to Play punt. Down there. <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> too short of a field to punt. Are they going to go for the field goal? No, they're going to continue with the play. They're going to continue with the drive as if nothing happened. To Markham's right, Queen Crow. Markham, the snap, the pass. All the way. Oh! 
Trey Clark gets tripped up by number 32, Aaron Miser, and that will lead to turnover on downs. The Zebras now have the ball on their own 16-yard line. First down and 10, Zebras. 5.17 left in the first half. So far, the zebra to watch is Hayden Prater, quarterback position number 18. He has led the day in touchdowns, being that he is the only one who's been able to score touchdowns any any touchdowns in this game. Shrugging off four tacklers, and this time he wants to shrug off four more. Prater, untouchable, runs for 15 yards and proves that he's still the champ. Prater around the left side for 15 yards. Play ends out of bounds. That will make it a f another first down. Clock stops at 5.07. Make that 16 yards. Coach Hooker relaying information to Prater, who is now relaying information to the rest of the team. Center snapper, number 75, Jacob Mark. Mark, oh, whoa, we got a penalty five before the play even starts. Who's that blame here? False start, the call against the Zebras, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down, first down of 15 on their own 27-yard line. Scratch that, it's a legal procedure, not false start. Prater. To pass and number 86 wide open. He gets the pass, but is tripped up by number five, Tice Rooney. But that's still enough to gain 20 yards, 21 yards, and that the zebra's first down with 4:49 left in the first half. Zebras want to make a repeat performance. Prater relaying information from master coach, Mr. Hooker. Mark, snap to Prater in I formation. Prater gets the ball. Uh, hand off to Isaiah Jackson, gets them two yards. That'll make it second and eight from midfield. Jackson with the run around the right side for a gain of two. Tackle by number 88, Clark. Zebras huddling up reeling what they're going to do now that they're halfway to another six-pointer. With the amount of time that's running down in the first half, it's very likely that this drive could be the last of the first half. And Prater fakes a pitch and keeps it for himself, and he's a whirlwind out there. He's only got one person in between him and the finish line, but after a 25-yard run, there's... The left side. Oh, there's a penalty against the Zebras. After a marvelous 25-yard run, that gets soured into minus hey, weave. 10 yards. Brad. Weaver. That's what every good cornerback does, turn so they don't get blocked. <laughs> Loss of 10 from the play, that will make it second down. No, first down. It's still first down, but 10 yards have been removed from the spot of the foul, making it, making it a game from 28 to just, 25 to just eight. Still a good run by Prater, though. And 3.20 left in the first half, and still cl clocking down. 
this time at snapping position. Oh wait, it's still Jacob Mark. Jacob Mark, snap to Prater. Prater pitches it to Jackson. Jackson gets all the way to the 39-yard line thanks to push from from a Manchester Squire. This will make it second down and seven on the Manchester 39. With 2.43 left in the first half, Zebras will have to see how they are going to score a touchdown quickly and effectively. Right now, it's anyone's ball game. 2.30. Crucial second down for the Zebras. Mark with the ball. T formation. Snap. Handoff to Bryce Abbott, and Abbott proves he can run, not just tackle, sheds a tackler easily, runs up the right side, but ends up running out of bounds. Where will the rest put it? It's anyone's guess, but it's definitely over 20 yards, possibly even 30. 29-yard run. That will make it first and goal from the Manchester 10. Zebra is looking for a repeat performance. Last time they were in the red zone, they it, it took them two plays to get in the end zone and s get on the board. Two minutes even left on the clock. And the Zebra is ready to add more points on their side. Mark snapping to Prater, I formation. And here we go, hand off to Jackson. Jackson gets plenty of protection. Jackson is brought down at around the three yard line. That will bring up second and goal at the three yard line of the Manchester Squires. Jackson on the left side, takes the ball down to the zero three yard line. 140 left in the first half. Right now it is cloudy and chilly, about 50 degrees tonight, and the lights are on. Mark to snap to Prater. Prater fakes a handoff and decides to go for himself, but this time it backfires, and he runs headfirst into trouble. And right now he's on the ground. Gain of one for Prater, and even though it's the last game of the season, Prater is down. He is down. He is moving slightly. We will take a short break for an injury timeout. back. Prater is seeming to be somewhat fine. His status currently questionable. 
Zebras have now called a timeout. We will take a break for a one minute timeout. You're watching an RTC TV Productions probably presents a, a, an eighth grade game between the Rochester Zebras and the Manchester Squires. We'll be back in black in a minute. And we're back in black for an RTC TV pro production to probably present an 8th grade middle school football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. Previously, we had an injury timeout for one Hayden Prater, and we had a timeout so that the Zebras could plan what to do, but it seems like they had a pretty good plan because a handoff between... I. A handoff between Ethan Hauser and Isaiah Jackson. Jackson goes three yards for a touchdown. That makes it Zebras 12, Manchester 0, with 46.0 seconds left in the first half. Zebras now planning what to do for this two-point conversion. Hauser playing quarterback right now. Isaiah Jackson. Right tackle for a touchdown. Prater on the bench seems to be fine and should be in the game after halftime. And Hauser handoff to Bryce Abbott who mows down everyone in his path. Gets the score up to 14 to 0. We'll be back to an RTC TV Productions proudly presents a Rochester Middle an RMS 8th grade football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras will be back to the conclusion of the sec of the first half shortly. Number 8, Caden Bixler, off left tackle for the two-point conversion. Welcome back in black to an RTC TV production is probably present a senior team game an 8th grade football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. We just saw a touchdown by Bryce, a touchdown and a two-point conversion by the Rochester Zebras. And number 88, Trey Clark, muffing the return at first at the 25-yard line, gets about 10, 15 yards before before getting tackled out of bounds by the Zebras. 37 yard line for the Squires and they have 35.7 seconds to try and make a statement about that glaring zero on the scoreboard. Right now Markham starting quarterback for the 8th grade Squires team. Going for a last ditch touchdown attempt. Where's 
And Markham back to pass to number 88 overshot. Tyce Rooney was open, but Trey Clark was definitely definitely the receiver to watch. And the Zebras were not fooled. Second down and 10 with 31 seconds left for the Squires. Referee signal that the play will resume shortly. Markham. Markham in a T formation. Trying to make a statement here. He has before with two tw 21 yard pass plays in one drive, yet failed to make it happen when it counted in the red zone and failed to get a touchdown. Markham gets the ball, keeps it, but there's a flag on the field. Markham's running like the wind, gets to about the 48 yard line, but the flag will decide all. It's a offside. I saw offside call on the Squires. And that'll be five yard penalty from the original spot. And that will continue at second down with, tw with the same amount of time, 23.8 seconds, 14-0. The half will end with the Manchester Squires, whether they like it or not. Still second down. Back five yards from the 37 to the 32. It'll take one heck of a play to get 60 yards in 20 seconds. Uh, take your nose out. I guess you don't have anybody else. Good night. Maybe McCarter. Wooten. And here we go. Squires lining up for the third pass attempt, but it's still a second down thanks to an offside call. Markham in pro formation this time. Winds up deep. Oh, man. Tice Rooney, when it matters most, gets the ball. 68-yard touchdown. The ball goes for about 10 yards in the air, and Tice catches it at around the 40-yard line, but that's all it needs. That's all it needs. He goes all the way with 11 point second, seven seconds left. The zero is gone and Manchester's officially in this game. 14 to six, Zebras still lead. But will Manchester have something to say about that with this two point conversion attempt? We'll just have to see. And it looks like Underwood going to snap to Markham. Let's see if Markham can get a two-yard pass play. He does not to Tice Roney. That will leave at a 14-6. You're watching an RTC TV Productions probably presents a, a Rochester Middle School 8th grade football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. We'll be bla back in black for the finale of the first half shortly. Margo's pass attended for Rooney, two-point conversion, failed. Back in Black 2, and RTC TV Productions probably presents uh, a Rochester Middle School football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. A truly spectacular play between M Markham and Rooney ensued. Last 68-yard pass 
that was incredible, but the two-point conversion was not successful. And number eight, he's on a rampage, but gets taken down. This will be the last play. Number eight, Kane Bixler, again, sort of muffed the ball at the 35, but goes all the way to the other 35, meaning that the Zebras will have a first down, but it will be the last. 3.5 seconds left to go. And it looks like they're gonna continue to play number five, Ethan Hauser, for the rest, for this one last play. Hauser wanting to get back to a two score lead. It will take one heck of a play, but it won't be, have to be as drastic. 38 yards between zebras and touchdown. In I formation. Flank goes on both sides. The snap and the pitch to Jackson. He doesn't go for the reverse pitch, but gets tackled at the 28. That's a 10-yard gain, but it does not matter. It is now halftime, and now back to the second half of the RTC TV Productions Power Presents. Uh, an RMS football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. We play for Amy here, sectional. Yes, we do. We're working. We go now. Yeah, we will. Be. And, at, and from RTC TV, we hope that uh, most, if not all, of the 8th grade members move on to C Team and join our already excellent C-Team squad for a great year next year. And it looks like number 44, Bryce Hatter has just kicked off the second half and the third quarter. And it looks like, wow, what a run by Trey Clark all the way to midfield for the Manchester Squires. Squires are defending the West goal and they will receive Russ put it on the 49, the ball on the 49 of Rochester, meaning that it's 49 yards between Manchester and a possible tie with Rochester. Hayden Prater for the Zebras has been able to get a touchdown for the Zs, and Isaiah Jackson has also been able to get a touchdown. Bryce Abbott was able to get a two-point conversion for the Zs, and those are the scores for the Z's. As for Manchester, it was a ludicrous play in which involving Devin Marco and Tice Rooney. That was 68 yards with less than 30 seconds left to play. And that went for a touchdown. So now it's 14 to six and everyone who was not tuning in for the first half now knows. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, Good for you. Subscribe to our ch to our channel, RTC TV 4. And if you're watching this on the television, then go on your phone, computer, or tablet, whatever you have, and subscribe to RTC TV 4. That's RTC TV 4, kids. Markham, the handoff to number 45. Crawl, Creed and Crawl. And the clock slowly ticking down for both Manchester and Rochester seasons. The 7th grade season is over and the 8th grade season will end tonight. No gain for Quo on the play. In fact, that was a loss of 1. 2nd down and 11. Squires. And here we go. Markham gets the ball and oh! And the ball is on the ground, the ball is on the ground. Markham gets sacked by the zebras and number 35, like they rehearsed a thousand times of practice, Jacob Mark lunges on the ball at the 47 yard line. That sack would have been a loss for 10, but. 
loss of nine. However, Lizzie was decided to be nice and take the football away from Manchester. Actually, there was only a loss for five, but still, excellent job by the Zebras. Zebra is now on Manchester's 42-yard line. This will make it their first true turnover tonight. They did have a turnover on Downs earlier in the game. But now, here we go. It's still Hauser at the quarterback position. Had it most through lineman after lineman before getting to the midfield where he finally gets taken down. But a penalty has been called. Zebras get a holding penalty. Moves them from the 42 to, to the from midfield to the 32 yard line. A penalty of 10 and that erases. Actually, no. That only was a penalty from the where the it happened. The hold happened at the 45 yard line. So technically, it's first and 17. Zebras now have the ball on their own 35 yard line. Hauser hands it off to Abbott again. Abbott running, running, gets all the way back to midfield. No holding calls to hold him back this time, so it's now second and two. 15 yard run by Bryce Abbott. Bryce had it. Nice job on the 15 yard run. So now the Zebras only need two yards to continue another possible touchdown drive. The eighth grade squad has been pretty good this year and they want to get even better to prepare for C team. And Hauser uh, in I formation buckets instantly sacked. The offensive line was non-existent. Hauser's up, and so, actually no. He managed to hand it off to Jackson, which manages to get to the 47. It fooled the defense, and it even fooled me. Wow. Three yards, that's enough for a first down and 10 on Manchester territory. We are now at the 47 yard line for, of Manchester, 47 yards to go with 532 left in the third quarter. And Azibas what a hit, what a toss from Hauser. It goes to Bryce Abbott, it's just enough. A stiff arm to Trey Clark, holy cow. Move over, move over, Tice Rooney. There's a new, there's a new runner in town. Bryce Abbott decides to add his name to the people who got touchdowns tonight, along with Tice Rooney and fellow teammates Aiden Prater and Isaiah Jackson with a 47-yard run. Talk about making an impression on first down with 5.13 left in the third quarter. The Zebras, after a fumble turnover, they get a six, they get a solid touch near, from near midfield all the way to the end zone. And now Hauser is now called out for a false start. Calls on the Zebras, which means that it's going, the ball will go to the seven and a half yard line rather than the two and a half yard line, which will make things a little, more than a little tougher for the Zebras. But what a small, a small toss can make a big difference. That toss was only about a yard, but it was all Rice Abbott needed. He blazed through the line, and the only linebacker that had a chance of tackling him was Trey Clark. But Clark was unable to do it. And oh, Hauser tosses the ball, but it bounces off a shoulder pad and and the attempt is deemed no good. But it's still enough for in a fantastic it's not enough to sell a fantastic deal of six points for the Zebras. Right now the score is the Manchester Squires six, the Rochester Zebras. 
20. You are watching an RTC TV Productions probably presents a s an RMS game, football game between the, the Ratchets, the Manchester Squires, and your Ratchets to see, but we'll be back very shortly. Welcome back in black to an RTC TV Productions probably presents a seat an RMS game between football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. The Zebras had a 47 yard touchdown to capitalize on a fumble that earlier in the drive by Manchester. And now Manchester wants revenge and they want that lost touchdown back. Zebras and Squires lining up. Manchester's done pulling it around and they want a, another touchdown. So far, Tice Rooney's 80, no, 68 yard run pa pass play in which he got the ball from Markham is the only score that Manchester has. Whereas three different people have scored for Rochester. Oh, and it looks like it's a pitch to number 45 call, which will give Manchester about five yards to the 45-yard line of their own territory. Actually, make that six yards. Crawl managed to get to the 46. Midfield is the place to be. But now it's with 450 left and counting down in the third quarter. Manchester will have to make a quick and painless for them strike against the Zebras. Markham anticipating the next snap. A man on his right, and it looks like a relatively unknown right now. Sam Martindale gets the ball not only to the 50-yard line, but also to Rochester territory for a square first down. That was a run of 12 yards, of 11 yards. Not too shabby for Martindale, which made his first play of the night. But the clock is ticking down fast, and if Manchester has any hope of winning this game, they have to score here and now. Markham in the huddle, relaying what his coach has said to him. The the offense and the defense are both ready. Squires offense versus Rochester defense. So far, Disease D has been winning out. Markham back to throw. It's intercepted by none other than Bryce Savitt, who's trying to go for a pick six. And it looks like he's so successful. Manchester has to use four, like, three guys in order to bring him down. A 10-yard kickoff return which means that Manchester both drives this half have both resulted in turnovers the Eras will get the ball on their own 45 yard line that will bring up first down and 10 with three minutes and 22 seconds left already we've seen three drives two of them from Manchester both ending in turnovers and the last Eber drive resulted in a touchdown which what I would say is a capitalizing statement on a turnover. Now the Zebras will have to definitely capitalize on this turnover. 55 yards between them 
and the finish line. Isaiah Jackson gets the ball and motors his way up for 12 yards. First down and 10 for the Zebras at the Manchester Squires 43-42 yard line. With 42 yards between them and the goal line. Zebras have their eyes set on another touchdown. But will it be about a repeat performance from either Hayden Prater, Bryce Abbott, or Isaiah Jackson, or will another new player get his chance at glory? Ethan Hauser still at the quarterbacking position, filling in for an injured Oh man, here we go, it's Bryce Abbott Again, holy cow, Abbott, move over everyone else. Bryce Abbott is in town. Oh, almost, what could have been a repeat performance gets soured by a block in the back call by the Zebras. It would have been a touchdown, but now the Zebras have to go back. How far? Well, 10 yards from the spot of the play. So not entirely back, but back enough so that it only was more like a five yard gain. But it's still first down. First down and 10 from the 32. So now, Zebra's in a bit of a jam. Will they go with Bryce Abbott? Or will another team member get to have his shot at glory? Hauser relaying the play. Will it be identical or will it be completely different? 2.33 left, but not going anywhere for now. Hauser getting ready. The snap. The handoff to who, you guessed it, Bryce Abbott. It takes two guys, one hits high, one get, hits low, to stop Bryce Abbott. But it's not enough to stop the third, first down, 14-yard run. Not as impressive as a 43-yard run, but still impressive enough, to say the least, from the, from the hulking running back. Let's see if the Z's can get a touchdown before two, the two-minute warning is up. Hauser, the snap, the handoff to Jackson. Isaiah Jackson running up, taking a page out of Bryce Abbott's book. Gets taken out down at the five-yard line. It's first and goal for the Zebras. If if they get just one first down, it's all over because they go first down, first down, first down. 166 left. Clock's not going anywhere. First and goal from the five-yard line. Zebras ready to make a big statement. Do they show that many holding colonies every week? No. Usually they don't throw from 30 yards away like they do. I mean, every other play was a flag. You the quarterback, though? And here we go. Ethan Hauser. The snap. The handoff. Bryce Abbott gets a five-yard touchdown run. With 1.23 left in the third quarter, the touchdown may have been delayed, but no one can stop Bryce Abbott. That's his second touchdown of the night. That will make him our player of the night. With two touchdowns so far, and maybe more yet to come, the Zebras are up 26-6 over Manchester, and Manchester will have to pull off one heck of a comeback in order to have a chance at winning this game. Zebra is looking to further sweeten the deal by getting a two-point conversion, something that they've only done, been able to do once. Hauser has been doing a very nice job by letting someone else do the running for him. But this time it's number 14. Oh! Number 14 for the Zebras. 
Grant McCarter from the seventh grade team shows he still got it. Tosses a ball to Caden Bixler. The two point conversion is good. With 123 left the in the third quarter, the Manchester Squad six. And your Rochester Seavers 28. We'll be back in black too. And RTC TV Productions probably presents an RMS 8th grade football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. Welcome back to an RTC TV Productions Power Presents an RMS 8th grade football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. Bryce Abbott proves that nothing can stop him from him and a touchdown. And he proved it with a 5-yard touchdown run. Two-point yeah. conversion was good. And now number 80 for Rochester, Noah Wooten kicks the ball from the 40 all the way to the 30. A 20-yard return by Manchester. Manchester's going to start on midfield, but they've been having bad luck recently, both a fumble and an interception by the Rochester D, showing that the Rochester is not all about scoring. They're also about doing very good plays from the defensive end. And the Manchester Squires looking to score a touchdown. First try fumble, second try interception. Hopefully they want this to spell out touchdown. Squires QB. And it looks like number 31, relatively unknown, may, tries to make himself heard. Five yard pickup on the play. Actually, no, seven yard pickup. Which makes it second down and three with less than a minute to go in the third quarter. It looks like the third quarter will end and in the next few plays. Will Manchester get two or three? That will be the question. Manchester lining up to snap. Markham gets the ball handoff to again 31, but this time loses to Martindale manages to get the ball from from the 46 to the 45, but gets stopped short by the Zebras. And with that play, 2-1-0, that will end the third quarter. Right now, the Rochester, the Manchester Squires, 6. And your Rochester Zebras, 28. We'll be back in black for the epic finale of the Rochester Middle School football season in an RTC TV Productions probably presents a an RMS football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. Welcome back in black to an RTC TV Productions probably presents an RMS football game between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. Right now, it's at a stand. We're at a standstill between the Zebras and the Squires, but it could be broken by Martindale, who runs for 20 yards from the 45 of the Zebras all the way to the 25. Nice job by Caden Bixler, number eight for Rochester, for knocking him out of bounds. That was actually only 18 yards, but still impressive job by Martindale. Manchester at least wants to get out of single digits and go into double digits before this, the, their and Rochester's season wraps up. 
Manchester lining up. Zero's D getting some well, much needed encouragement. We have a decent crowd tonight on both sides, both wanting to see how each season will end. Martindale keeps it and gains about two yards on the play. That will make it second down and eight. Waylon Hayes. Waylon Hayes on the tackle. Weaver's coming out. Big Weaver. Yeah, Big Weaver. Sunny night coming out. Tired. You're tired. <laughs> Lurch. You're need a drink. <laughs> and Manchester is so close, but yet so far. Every time they've gotten in a red in the red zone, which they are not in yet, but could be. Yes. They, they've they only been in the red zone once and they failed to capitalize. Ironically, when they were at the 32-yard line, uh, an attempted last-ditch play turned out to go very right and ended up in a touchdown. But that's been the only score by Manchester so far. As Tice Rooney went from whipping boy to overnight superstar of that play, Isaiah Jackson doesn't get a pick six, but gets all the way to the 15-yard line of Manchester. I want to say that is impressive, most impressive. Manchester's bad luck continues as that's the third time this half, and they've only had three drives that they have been turned over on their drive. Every time they get to Zebra's territory, Zebra's come back swinging hard. Isaiah Jackson, what a play. From the 25-yard line all the way to the 15-yard line, that calculates out to be 60 yards. That's the most yards in a single play tonight besides Tice Rooney and his 68-yard playoff run. Hauser does the wise thing, gives it to Jackson, but Jackson gets taken down at, line, at the line yeah, of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zebras want to get this their season over with on a high note with a, tw with a 28 plus 6 over 28 26 maybe more win over Manchester. And right now Manchester just wants to get this game over with. And it looks like Graham McCarter going in for the court QB position for now. 540 left in the entire game. Sun about to set. Beautiful fall sunsets Rochester does have. McCarter gets the ball. Nearly muffs it up. But it looks like the ball was marked down when Grant went down. Number five, Ethan Hauser, the other quarterback tonight, could have went for a run, but instead it's a loss of two. And now it's third down and long. Twelve to be exact for the Rochester Zebras. Zebras will need to capitalize or they're going to meet their demise. Five minutes to go in the game. Zebras want to get to the threes. Can they... No. It's a matter of will they. And here we go. McCarter ready to receive the snap. Oh! It's clear cut. That was Manchester's penalty. Refs are pointing to Manchester. It's an offside call against the Squires. That's a five yard penalty. Repeat third down. And that will move the Z's two third down and seven instead of third down and 12 at the at the Manchester 12 yard line Z's have had nearly as bad luck in the red zone but just the same they'll need to they'll need to strategize if they want to win 
So far, Bryce Abbott leads the scoring district in with two touchdowns, whereas Heis Rooney for the Manchester, Manchester and Hayden Prater and Isaiah Jackson each have a touchdown for Rochester. And Grant McCarter is slow to get the ball, but number five, even Hauser, gets to about the 10 yard line. This will bring up fourth down. This will bring up a risky situation. Should the Zebras go for it? And should the Zebras go for it? Or should they go for a field goal instead? Hauser on the side. With 3.30. Six left in the game. The Manchester squads will get the ball back at least once in the game. But right now, Z's just want to run down as much time as possible and possibly get another touchdown. The Zebras, 8th grade and 7th grade teams alike, RTC TV Productions salutes you for giving us great entertainment from watching you play. It is an honor that we that we know that there are still kids out there who love to play this magnificent magnificent game of football. And it looks like the Squires have made a crucial mistake. Another offsides penalty. Now it's fourth down and short, about two yards, one maybe even. We're gonna place it at the seven yard line. They need to get to the five, but they but we all know what they want. They want a touchdown and the clock is just rolling down. This this game this game's fourth quarter is easily turning out to be the shortest. And who will win it out? It looks like Rochester will. And the play, did they do it? No, they didn't. Manchester gets the ball surprisingly thanks to, even though two penalties, one on third down, one on fourth down, help them, Zebras cannot capitalize. They fall short, but there's only 2.22 left in the game. All the Zebras need to do is hold up on, on their end on defense, and they'll be fine. Manchester will go for anything now that they're in extremely they're in extremely hot water and they will need it will be a miracle if they pull this off. Even one touchdown they'll take. Fifty eight Bailey Small heading out. Small, please. Wind it. Come on, Zayner. And the clock is going down. The clock <laughs> winding down. Never so slowly for Rochester, but too fast for Manchester. Manchester from the 7 all the way to the 13. They're out of the critical safety zone. But we're ticking down, down, down past two minutes. And the Squires... The Squires will might just go into victory formation even though they're, it's not a victory just to get this game over with and the Zebras will gladly take another turnover in the past three drives Manchester has in the past three drives Manchester it, for Manchester it's resulted in a turnover could it turn out the same possibly but it looks like they're going to go no holds barred. 120 left in the game and the season. Number 14, Markham going for a long ditch pass and he drops it. Number 18 in shot, Carter Shepard drops the crucial pass play. Stops the clock, but that's a small, small reward for what was an easy pass. <laughs> that will make it second down and 10 for the Squires. Squires, now with a stopped clock, have to figure out what to do now. 111 left in the game. <laughs> the Squires lining up 
and so are the zebras. The zebras won this game badly. They can taste it. They can smell it. Oh, and he drops it. He drops the ball, but manages to... Markham drops the ball, but manages to get it up to, uh, in order to pitch it to... Number 31, Martindale. It's enough for a first down. He was out of bounds when it happened. Actually, no. First downs always uh, stops the clock. With a minute to let to go, now we're down into less than a minute. Squires want to pull off an even bigger play than they did at the end of the second half, but the game will most likely end in the next in the coming plays. Manchester not throwing in the towel. They're going to give it everything they've got till the end. Markham, another pass play. It goes out of bounds. Ball clock stopped at the 33.3 seconds. Second out of 10 for the Squires. Squires at the 18 yard line. It will take an 82 yard play in order to get all the way to the end zone just to get our single digits. This will be, this will mark the end of a great sport for both Team, for both team seasons, but it will, all, but it will be a, an epic ending for both. Martin Dale gets the ball, but he's tackled in bounds, and that will do it. That will do it indeed. Manchester will have to hurry up, but they're in no hurry. They know their fate. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, zero, and the siren sounds. It's a beautiful sound for all the fans here. And the final score from RTC TV is the Manchester Squires six and the Rochester's and your Rochester Zebras with the win, 28. Thank you for listening to the Mill School games on RTC TV and also our C Team games. I am Isaac Smith signing off. We'll see you next season.